Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I'm checking in on the energy and it was a little bit confusing for me, so I just pulled a couple of cards to clarify this, okay? Um, there is a person who is having a spiritual awakening here. They're going from this very emotional King of Cups energy and kind of moving into this divine masculine role, this divine masculine energy. This person's bossing up, and they're about to come barreling towards you at top speed, okay? Um, anyway, just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. I did take time for myself yesterday, you guys. Um, I, I have a, a cold, and it's really starting to, like, drain me okay but i am feeling better today i am so thank you for all of the kindness you guys gave me thank you for all the warm wishes i love you you're all so nice to me out here thank you and uh thank you to all of my subscribers thank you thank you and welcome to everybody new here all right so um you could be a cancer pisces scorpio maybe a leo aries sagittarius or that's your person. They could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Taurus, Aries, maybe even Virgo energy here. So, um, yeah, this person, they're realizing they're in love with you. This is someone having a spiritual awakening, okay? Being in love with you, really. Um, st here with the Ace of Cups, the Ace of, of wands this person they have like this fire lit in them now they go from like i said feeling fairly weak emotional hiding how they feel okay i feel like all of that has just been kind of bubbling up inside of them all right and now this person um they've it's it feels like they've they've flipped into a spiritual being here um, I feel like they've been working on themselves, looking at the situation, right? Um, realizing a lot how they treated you, um, what's been done to you, okay? They're also realizing they're in love with you. And I feel like all of a sudden they're coming out as a divine masculine, in their divine masculine strength, energy. This person has gone through a major change, okay? And with the Wheel of Fortune out here, they want a second chance. They want to change things with you. I feel like you've got your back turned to this person. You know, you offered them your cup of love before, but they've left you out here standing there holding that cup like, who's worthy of this cup, you know? Who's worthy of it? So this person, they need to show that they're worthy of your love. They need to come in and they want to come in and prove themselves to you. You know, so here they come in chariot energy. I feel like this is this person's energy, determined, okay, knowing what they want, knowing they, they, you're their destiny, okay? It just feels like they know you're their destiny. They've got this fire lit. They're coming in very passionately, okay? Um, yeah, and th this is, especially with the higher font out here, I feel like this is somebody who's, bossing up now they're about to take that leap of faith they're about to um, confront the things that they've done to you in the past you're about to get this communication this person is coming towards you okay and they're coming in in their divine masculine energy all right what else can you show me they're feeling like a fool for how they treated you in the past. Yeah, see, they've been in hermit energy. This is where they get closer to God. This is where they take a look at themselves and their own behavior. And they start making those changes. They start doing that work on themselves. Virgo energy here as well. So heavy Virgo in here so far. Yes, and now they're being repentant. This is feeling horrible for how they treated you okay this is a lot of regret a lot of remorse um they can't replace you this person may have tried to um, replace you with other people and they can't okay there's no replacing you they can't get you off of their mind okay um 
yeah, this is somebody who is sorry for what they've done. They know they need to do the right thing. They could be sitting here crying in their hands right now. Okay, but I feel like the strength off of this person as they come back in, wanting to do the right thing, knowing that they have a lot to um, apologize for, a lot to make up for. And they definitely don't want to go through life without you. This could have aged this person. They could have gained a lot of weight since you last saw them. They could have like gray hair, maybe a long beard now. Yeah, see, they know. They know they need to turn around, choose a new path. Okay, this person could have been like um, just keeping their back turned on this connection, avoiding confrontation, maybe even avoiding making a, a choice or making a change. Not anymore. I'm, I'm just getting now that this person feels like they wasted a whole lot of time in this energy, in this Three of Wands energy. Okay, maybe they were waiting for the right opportunity to come in, but that time is now. Now this person knows they need to, they possibly need to vindicate your name. So there could have been some slander on your name and your, and your reputation. They need to vindicate you. They need to give you fairness. And they need to bring justice to the situation. It's like the time is now. This, is, um, this can be gossip. So there could have been a lot of gossip about you. They need to stop that gossip. Right? I feel like this person may be really tired of the gossip. But this is also them getting back together with you. Okay? They may even also have, um, you know, other people that they've entertained during this time of separation. These three cups that are knocked over. They know they have to be honest with everybody in this situation. Anybody that they've been involved with. They need to break it apart. They need to um, break it off. Okay, maybe that's something that they didn't want to do. They didn't want to face that, but they're facing it now. Okay, so there could be maybe three other individuals that they need to walk away from. Okay, this person, I feel like they suddenly they want to change their life around. Like, this change is happening within them very quickly. Okay. What's this? Yeah, see, they. I feel like this person... Boy, there's been... A, hold on a second. There's been a lot done here. Okay. There could have been some sabotage done on your connection. There was trash talk about you behind your back. Yeah, it's all true. This person is going to put an end to all of the gossip. Okay, I feel like they're sick and tired of people talking about you, um, lying about you. Yeah, see, that's what it is. They're defending you now. Okay, they're ending the gossip in the background. They're sick and tired of it. And I feel like they're... Um, maybe they didn't want to face this. They didn't, you know, this is somebody who may not like confrontations, but this is somebody who is now defending you, standing up for you. And anybody who's talking trash about you or slandering your reputation, they're bringing those people down, shutting them up. Like this has to end. You see, their whole perspective has changed on the situation. And I feel like this is a sudden change. This is like a light bulb going on, okay? Um, they see everything from a new perspective now. This is what's helping this person boss up into the emperor energy that they need to be in, okay? They see anybody who was trash-talking you before or anyone who was trying to get in the middle of this connection, they see the truth about them now. And they see your connection as a divine one. Yeah, see, on the bottom of the deck. 
the earth angel. They see you as an earth angel now and everyone else that they've been around, toxic people, trash talking, gossiping people, right? Those They're seeing those people as being toxic and karmic. And now they're seeing you as being an earth angel, a divine being. So they're sticking up for the earth angel here. Okay. And this person, this is part of their penance of what they've done. They need to defend you. You know, um, I feel like that spirit is kind of making them do right by you now. So they need to defend you. They need to take a stand for you. They need to protect you. That's how this person feels. So they're going up against like three other individuals. And they're shutting them up. Yeah, they feel horrible for how you were treated. Okay. They can't take it anymore. The Ten of Swords, it's just the things that they're hearing about you now, now that they've changed their perspective on everything, this person has gone through a, an awakening, okay, an enlightenment. Realizing the things that they've done in the past, the mistakes they've made in the past, and the things that, they're, that people are saying about you now is really hurting them. You know, it's making them feel horrible, okay, they could have even, you know, well, this person feels betrayed. They could have said some things about you in the past, too. But part of their penance here is to um, do right by you, bring you justice, vindicate your name. You know, I feel like this person, they admire you. Okay, that's the, that's the energy that I'm getting. They can't stop watching what you're doing. Maybe this person is watching you work. You could maybe um, be doing something on the internet. They've been watching you grow and transform your life. And I feel like, um, I feel like you're both being like kind of prepared for each other. It feels like your energy is being aligned here. But this person needed to make things right in the background. They needed to bring you justice. Spirit wanted um, honor brought to your name. Okay? And I feel like they, you know, they could have listened to this gossip before, realizing that people just wanted to keep this, this connection separate and look at all that they've lost. You know, when this person when they, they think of you now, they, they see you in this successful energy, right? Success, abundance, a lot of uh, forward movement, growth, okay? Transformation. You're, you could be very financially stable right now, maybe even financially independent. You could have your own business that's just like booming and taking off right now, okay? They see you having this Midas touch, you know, um, you're being blessed here. You know, here with the, with the Nine of Pentacles energy, you're focused on your own stuff, okay? You're focused on, on building your own solid foundation. You're not in anybody else's business. You're not out here gossiping. This person, I'm telling you, they're, um, they feel betrayed by people that they listen to. And they're not about to let these people keep talking about you anymore. This person is defending you. They're seeing the truth about, about you. They're seeing the truth about all of these people that were um, gossiping about you. They're seeing what they missed out on here. There's no replacing you. You could be dealing with the Pisces, Virgo. Yeah, and you're not speaking to them anymore. They may be getting tarot card readings um, or watching a lot of tarot card readings on YouTube just to try to get some information about you, how you feel about them, because this person doesn't know. You know, I, I feel like they cut you off like gave you a really cold, harsh cut off. 
because I feel like they listen to other people and they let other people sabotage this connection. But ever since they cut you off, you haven't said a word to them. You kind of like, um, you know, you, you, uh, maybe you went into hermit energy. You didn't, you weren't talking to anybody. You, I don't think you've said anything about this person or about the situation at all. I think you just um, started working on yourself. Now this person, after they shut down these people that are gossiping about you, they're about to approach you here. They're about to come in and give you this offer. Like they, um, Even if it's just a start of a friendship, anything. Like this person wants you back, okay? This is the, I, I feel like this is someone in their divine masculine energy and they're coming back in for their earth angel. Yeah, they want you back. You're like everything. I feel like this person truly admires you for, for all that you've been through and how much you've grown and what you've accomplished here. They admire you for everything. You could definitely be in the public eye. You could have your own platform on the internet somewhere, okay? A website, a blog, a YouTube channel. You could be a spiritualist on a YouTube channel, um, and this person could be listening to you or watching you. You could be a tarot card reader as well. I feel like you've really, truly inspired this person, and they admire you. I mean, um, I feel like they've put you on a pedestal. Okay. Now this person has put you on a pedestal. And they're about to come back in and apologize and want you back. Okay. Yeah, see. And this is what they're doing with all these people who are gossiping. I'm getting the sense that there's a group of people who could be just getting together just to trash your reputation, just to laugh at you, try to turn you into a joke, you know, say nasty things about you. And this is this person is defending you here. This is defending. This is a, def a defense card. So, yeah, they are defending the star, okay, because they want to get back together with you. And as soon as they do that, it's like that proves them worthy of you, okay? And they come forward. They come forward knowing what they want. I feel like they're leaving people behind that are actually fighting with them over this because they don't, whoever these people are, they don't want them to get back together with you. They don't want this person to have a victory. This is, this is an encouragement card, but I'm seeing these five wands as a group of people that are angry and upset that this person is coming back towards you. They're, they're upset because this person is defending you. See, they defend you here. They defend the star. They want to get back together, and all of a sudden, I've got all of this chaos down here. You see that? You know, the five of wands to me is a ruckus. It's a shakeup. It's people battling with each other. Okay? And that's what this is. They're, they literally have to kind of fight off a group of toxic people that want to keep gossiping about you. They're going to defend you against those people. Okay, and those people are going to get angry, upset, there could be a fight, but they're coming towards you with a lot of determination. Okay, a determination to have a victory with the one that they love. Yeah, so get ready, collective, because um, this is going to be somebody, when they show up, um, they're going to be you're not you're not gonna even like you've never seen them show up in this way before do you see what i'm saying they're going to be different they're going to talk to you differently you're going to feel this confidence off of them they're going to be open and honest with you um 
They may even come to you a bit vulnerable, right? In their emotions, wanting to tell you that they're in love with you. Like, I, I kind of get the sense you're going to be a bit shocked. Okay, so just prepare for this. Um, and they're going to be showing up. Like, you're not, this is completely unexpected. And the change in them is like an unexpected change. Okay, you, you are going to be shocked by this. Um, what else can you show me? And this is someone you haven't spoken to in a really long time. See, okay, I feel like that this is their energy. They're walking away from relationships, people in their life that they've listened to for a long time. Okay, they're walking away from those people. It's time to go. And they're coming to your house. <laughs> okay, they're going to be showing up at your door wanting to talk. They could be leaving a whole community of people behind. Leaving a community. Okay. I feel like they're, they just want to talk to you face to face. This is being divinely led. Okay, this is faded communication. I feel like this could very be a t very well be a twin flame soulmate connection. Now this person is being divinely led straight back to you. Okay, and this is a this is the faded talk that's about to happen. All right. You can feel this energy. Oh yeah, this is divine masculine energy, all right. Yes, you can feel um, their passion. You can feel them as they approach. I'm just seeing that you're picking up on the vibes, but you're staying very quiet about it. You're staying um, as relaxed and as calm as you possibly can. But you can sense this person is about to come forward and give you this apology. Okay, this is a peace offering. This is that apology that's faded all of this seems like it was fated to happen. That's the feeling. I have to say it, man. It all feels like it was fated to happen this way. Okay? And now we're approaching the hunter full moon. That's tomorrow. Um, and this person is, it's like they're on a hunt for you. Okay? He basically is what it feels like in their divine masculine true divine masculine energy this is like a complete change in this person okay and you can sense it you can feel it you may even be manifesting it you may be thinking about this person um at weird times of the day you could be seeing a lot of signs synchronicities around you repetitive numbers maybe hearing their name being mentioned like during a movie or in a commercial you know that happened to me just today and <laughs> i switched the channel you know what i mean but you may be doing that too i feel like you you can sense them coming forward and you're remaining calm but you're picking up on all the signs and here they come Anyway, that's what I have for this reading. Oh, let me call out your signs. You could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy Cancer energy. You could be a Gemini. You could be, I've got Aquarius here again. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. A lot of air in this reading. A lot of water in this reading. Okay. And... Um, I don't know. I'm feeling a lot of fire off of your person, actually. So they could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius as well. Anyway, um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome, awesome soul tribe. Seriously, this soul tribe rocks. And um, yeah, and until next time, everyone, take care of you. And peace out.